Hey everyone, today I'm partnering with Adobe to show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Studio, which is an upgraded version of Acrobat with even more powerful AI-powered document creation tools. Acrobat Studio is not just a PDF viewer, but an all-in-one AI creative workspace for building professional and personal documents from scratch. Here's what we'll cover today. Acrobat's PDF spaces and combined tool to merge different file types into one document. Acrobat's AI assistant to brainstorm ideas, draft content, and rephrase it how we want. Adobe Express to generate custom images. And using document templates for standout formatting. By the end of this video, you'll see how this can be your top AI platform for creating and converting PDFs instead of jumping between five different apps. Okay, so first, what is Acrobat Studio? It's the evolved version of Acrobat that brings even more powerful AI tools directly into your document workflow. Think of it as the best all-in-one AI workspace for documents. So instead of using one app for writing, one app for design, and one app for formatting, and then converting everything to a PDF, you can do all of it here. The two main AI features are AI Assistant for content and an Adobe Express integration for design. These are what make it a trusted AI workspace instead of just a PDF reader. Let's say you have a few different types of documents and you want to combine them into a single PDF. The first thing you want to do is open Adobe Acrobat on your computer. So on the home screen, you can either use this combine files button or you can click create and then select multiple files and then click next. Now all we have to do is drop our files into this little window here. So now that they're all uploaded, we can actually change the order of the files here just by clicking and dragging. And now we can go ahead and click combine up here at the top. And now it should combine all of those documents into one PDF. And it's as easy as that. Now let's talk about AI Assistant and PDF spaces. So let's say we have the same three files that we wanna work from. One of them is a meeting transcript from a brainstorming session. The other is a research report PDF. And finally, a spreadsheet of customer feedback data. So instead of reading all three of these manually, I can go ahead and drag these files directly into PDF spaces. So with Adobe Acrobat open, I can go ahead and select all of these and drag it into create a PDF space. Once the documents are uploaded, we can click add to PDF space. And the really cool thing about this is it accepts a bunch of different formats like Word docs, PowerPoints, Excel, text files, and a bunch more. So now that they're all uploaded, I can ask AI Assistant about some of these files. So I'm gonna type in, give me an outline for a marketing plan based on these materials. And we're gonna press send. So now what AI Assistant is doing is it scans through the documents that we uploaded and it's generating a structured marketing plan. Now that it finished, I now have a framework so I can build a marketing plan and refine it how I like. And AI Assistant did a lot of the heavy lifting. Acrobat AI Assistant is also really good at generating and refining content. So it still has the same three files that we had before. So let's type in something else. Write a detailed target audience section based on the customer research in the files. So now what it's doing is it's pulling relevant information from the documents that I uploaded and drafting a full target audience analysis section. And this leads me to one of my favorite features of AI Assistant. Let's just say the tone isn't what we're looking for or it's not in my style. I can ask it to rephrase the content. So I'm gonna type in, make this more conversational and less corporate. Oh, it's rewriting the entire section with a different tone, a little bit more casual. That's what I like. So this use case enables us to collaborate and have a conversation with AI Assistant to refine the content until it matches exactly what we need. This is what makes Adobe Acrobat Studio one of the best AI document creating tools. Let's say that we want to add a custom image to this page. Instead of searching for stock photos on the internet, I can actually generate them right here. So if we go up to the toolbar and press edit, it opens the side panel and we can press image to add an image to this document. So I'm gonna select it and then click generate image and that's where Adobe Express comes in. Now it opens up a prompt and now we can use our imagination to type in what we want. I'm gonna type in a modern office team around a conference table in a jungle and then minimalist style. Let's see what it comes up with. So I'm gonna click generate here in a couple of seconds, we have some of the images that we can choose from. I actually really like these. Let's go ahead and pick our favorite. I think I like this top left one the most. Now I'm gonna press apply up here and it adds the image directly into our document and we can move it around, we can resize it, we can put it wherever we want. If it's not quite what we're looking for, we can easily regenerate an image or just adjust the prompt. So now we added an image to our document and we didn't have to leave the app. Now let's move on to document formatting. 
Adobe Express has templates specifically designed for professional documents like marketing plans, reports, and presentations, or even for personal uses like flyers. So we have opened the same document that we were working on. Let's go ahead and click edit at the top and then scroll down to where you see stylize this PDF. So let's go ahead and press on it. So after a few seconds, we're now in Adobe Express and we can change a few cool things about the document. So on the left-hand side, there are a bunch of different color palettes and fonts that we can use and it'll basically reformat the entire document. So let's just click on this one to see what it does. That does look pretty good, but let's scroll down to this different one. Wow, okay. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different options that we could choose from. I think I like the first one that we chose the best, so I'm gonna stick with this one. There are so many things that you can do here in this page in Adobe Express. For example, if you click on templates over here, you can see a bunch of different things that we can do. And it basically gives us a head start for any type of content that we wanna make. We're gonna press apply to all pages and it'll go ahead and apply the style to the entire document. So what you're probably thinking now is that just saved us so much time from adjusting all of the headers, all of the colors, and all of the spacing. So now we're done stylizing this PDF, we can go ahead and click download up here at the top. As you can see, there are so many different things that you can do with Acrobat Studio, so I encourage you to go jump in for yourself and play around with it. It can be used for any document creation needs from creating a detailed marketing plan to a resume for your dream job. In this video, we covered some of the basics and I showed you how you can trust it as one of the best AI creative workspaces for complete document creation. Instead of treating it like a tool that you only use at the end to convert files, you can actually start and finish your projects here and do your best work.